Welcome everybody, I'm Audrey and today I'm going to be teaching you about freezing. So what does it mean to freeze something? Well, as you can see here, freezing something generally means to stop its motion. But how does it relate to this kind of freezing? The process by which liquid water turns into the solid we call ice. Well, it turns out this also has to do with motion, but in order to see it, we need to take a closer look at water. Let's get started. If we were to look super closely at this glass of liquid water, so close that we needed special equipment to do it, this is what we would see. This is a water molecule, and it actually makes up water. It's just so small that you can't see it with your own eyes. Now, this is where the motion part we talked about earlier comes in. In liquid water, these molecules move past each other all the time. That's what allows water to be fluid like this. So to freeze water, we need to stop this motion, right? Well, the way we can do that is by lowering the temperature. When we do that, the molecules get slower and slower until finally they bond together and they stop moving. Now, once this center forms, it just keeps going and more and more molecules join in until finally this super cool structure called an ice crystal lattice forms. Now, as you can see here, if this is just a tiny little bitty version of our molecules over here, a ton of little water molecules make up this ice lattice. And you'll also notice that since they're in such an organized structure, they can't really move around. And that's what makes ice a solid. Now, once again, this ice crystal lattice is too small for us to see with just our eyes and without special equipment. So we're gonna perform a special experiment that will allow us to see this ice crystal lattice grow with just our own eyes. Okay, here under all this ice and water, I have some super cooled water, which I'm gonna take out very carefully here. Okay, so the reason this is called super cooled water is because the temperature is actually below freezing. Technically, it should be ice right now, but it's still a liquid. Now, the reason this is possible is because this is pure water, meaning there's nothing in it for the ice crystal lattice to start forming on. It needs somewhere to start. But what if we give it a good tap? As you can see, it freezes instantly. Now, that's because that tap gives it just enough movement to get the molecules moving enough to form that organized crystal lattice structure. So why is this important? Well, freezing rain forms the exact same way as in this experiment. When freezing rain falls, it's just normal rain, but then it hits a very thin but very cold layer of air just above the ground, supercooling it just like our water was. And then when it hits the ground, just like when we hit our bottle on the table, it freezes instantly, creating ice on the ground. This is why driving conditions become so dangerous after freezing rain. And sometimes we even get off school for it. So who knows, your next day off, you may be thinking freezing rain. That is all for today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to repeat any this experiment at home, you can look in the description below this video for instructions on how to do so. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.